Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be doing my full glam, like in depth makeup routine. Like, this is a makeup routine I do whenever I do like a full makeup look or I'm going out, like, whether it's like for college, whatever. Like, this is my go to look. And I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, first and foremost, you're gonna have to have your skin prepped. Mine is already prepped because I did my skincare like an hour ago. Um, but one thing I really love for skin prep is this Ilia face base milk. It is a little bit pricey. If you want, this is half the price and it's kind of the same thing and it's the pharmacy honey milk. I love this as well. It's both are really good and they give a good hydrated base. The next thing that I would go in with is primer. My favorite primer is the NYX on the back. I have not used a primer that I like more than this. I literally have a second one on standby. It's right here. It's really good, I love it. That looks good, and now we're gonna work, I do the brows, next. While the primer like sets, do your brows. For my brows, the first thing that I use is the NYX Professional Makeup Powder Louder Brow. I'm gonna take the brush and, and brush my eyebrows up. Do that on both sides. And then I'll take the pencil part and just fill in any part that you need filling i do the front because that's where i don't have many hairs once you have the brows to their like desired shape you're going to take any brow gel i'm using nyx brow glue and just glue your brows up this is what my brows are looking like and now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. Okay, this part is optional, but I need it. You're going to color correct. I just do under my eyes and under my nose because that's where I have hyperpigmentation. Just blend it in with a brush. Once you're all color corrected, whatever, we're going to go in with our face products. For my face products, I use a combination of things. I like to use one glowy product and one like tint or foundation. My current favorite combination has been the Charlotte Hilly Glow Stick and the House Labs foundation. But for the longest time, I have been doing the e.l.f. halo glow and then mixing it in with this maybelline superstay and this has been such a good combo also this um what's it called halo glow is also really really good with this fenty skin tint and this makeup by mario foundation but this is too light for me right now because it's my winter shade so i will be using that foundation so basically i'm gonna take the stick just rub it on it's like my perfect shade and then don't blend it in yet you're gonna take the foundation put it in the back of my hand okay you're gonna grab a makeup brush take a little bit of the foundation mix it in with the tint and look how good that looks i love 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 this like Combo. Oh my god, it looks so good. I will never get over how flawless my skin looks after this combo. When you look somewhat ghostly like this, you're gonna take a beauty blender after. And I wet mine because that's how I think achieves like the best look. And I'm gonna go over it with a beauty blender. And never go under your eyes because you're going to put concealer there anyway and you don't want it to look too cakey because your under eyes are like one of the main things that could like get too cakey. Now, concealer time. My favorite concealer right now has been the Tower 28, but I've also... Oh, Bad. I've also been using the Fenty one and this one's really good. My all-time favorite is this Lancome. This is probably like my fourth bottle. So I'm going to use a Tower 28 today. Make sure you fix the lot like any like creasing that your color corrector gave you. And go don't go directly under, go a little bit like below. 
and this is like the concealer placement that I like and then we put some on the forehead under the nose because I got a lot of redness on the chin and then anywhere where I had like extra breakouts just like that then I use a brush to blend it out first just because it doesn't like soak up any product this brush so good this is like the only like these are the only like expensive brushes i own the rest of them are literally from amazon and it's the 2bk beauty this one's for foundation and this one's for concealer and they're the only like expensive like brushes that i own and i feel like they do a slight difference but honestly i have this one concealer brush this one and it was six dollars from amazon it's on my storefront i will link it below and this works just as fine let me show you it's a lot more dense than this one but I kind of like that sometimes. Look how good. That just blended that out. So honestly, like, it doesn't, brushes don't make a lot of difference if you have the right technique when you're doing your makeup. Once I get it kind of blended like this, let's take my beauty blender, go everywhere I put this concealer, just very loosely, lightly, and then blend it very seamlessly and when i'm doing this i'm also going to take some of that concealer on my eyelids because we want a nice like even base like look at that difference and now before our under eyes crease with our concealer we're going to take some powder i recently got this rare beauty and i love it but my go-to's have been the it cosmetics by my pores and the charlotte Tilbury. They're both really good. This one I like better and it's cheaper, so do what you will with that information. And then I'm just going to take a little powder puff and set my under eyes. Look at the difference. This is a good powder. This is a real pretty one. By the way. And make sure you put it on your eyelids because you don't want your eyelids to also crease. Now for bronzer, I have never found a bronzer I like more than the LYS bronzer. And it is so cheap, I think, don't quote me on this, it's either 20 or 28, I'm not sure. I'll put the actual price, I'll write the price right here after I figure it out. Um, but I also really like this, but this one's a little bit more sheer, so you have to like go a little bit more ham on the powder bronzer after. I don't know which one to use. I've used this one on a previous video. If you want to go look at it, I'll use this one today. Um, that one I used in the photo shoot vlog. Anyways, I just put it there. And then around my face. I do some on my like, nose right there. Oh. Right there as well. Now we're gonna take a bronzer brush. This is kind of like the brush that I use. And then I tap it in and then I go like upwards. And it's a really, really, really pretty bronzer. And then when I blend, I use a bigger brush to blend out my nose contour whenever I'm using this. And then I bring it all the way in my eyes as well. Now we have a little bit of warmth back in our face. We're gonna do blush. My recent go-to blush has been this Rode in Sleepy Girl. It's like the perfect mauve. Look at that. I do a few passes and then a little bit on the nose. And then I grab a blush brush. It kind of looks like the same as my bronzer brush that I just used. And look how seamlessly and beautifully that blends out. Like, oh, Ro did so good with these ones. Now that we have our blush done, we're gonna go in with the pressed powder all over our face. And don't worry about getting rid of too much of the shine because we're going to go in with the loose powder later and that will fix a lot of it. 
now we're at this stage and this is usually where i do one round of a setting spray for the first round i use the milani make it last and i cover my eyes because i don't want to get too much setting spray around my eyes because when you get too much setting spray around your eyes the like concealer starts to crease around there so i'll just cover my eyes a little bit and just go around my face and i don't really have a mini fan or anything like that but if you do it'd be nice to just but i don't so this will do now this is our cream base flawless beautiful it looks great and now we're going to go in with all of our powders first thing loose powder i have the maybelline fit me and then i have the one size in pink this is really good i do use it a lot only in the winter though for some reason but just for the summer i like like my regular toned powder i'm gonna grab another pressed powder and then once i grab the amount of like powder i want i'm gonna tap it in the back of my hand like this to even it out and then go under my eyes like so this is one side and this is the other this powder is so good i love it and it's a drugstore powder so not everything you own has to be like super expensive for makeup to turn out good if you want me to do like a whole like full face my favorite drugstore products i can totally do that for you because i have a lot of drugstore makeup that i absolutely love and some that i think are like better than like high-end products and now we're gonna warm up the skin a tad bit more with bronzer powder bronzer and the one that i like the most is this juvia's place you can tell this is well loved i'm surprised i haven't hit pan on this yet because i've had this for so long and i use it almost every time i do my makeup but i just kind of like mix in between go at it on the sides of my face just like that you don't have to be very for like powder like bronzer you don't have to be like too specific on the placements because it's just like a big fluffy brush and just go ham and stop whatever like you think it's perfect for you with blush i feel like placement is slightly more important because it's kind of like in a specific spot so i grab like a smaller fluffy brush dab the excess off and start at the top and just keep the blush there don't bring it down too much because then it's going to look way too like blushy blush you know now for highlighter i recently just got a new highlighter and i haven't tried it out yet and i really want to try it because i'm so excited about it and it's the patrick ta highlighter in baby it's like the pink one. Oh, it's so pretty we're gonna use the cream one i don't know what brush to use for this do i use like a smaller one let me figure this out i think i'll use this <gasps> one two did it work okay can you see it i love that it's very like natural looking through my nose it's like it's kind of like a sparkly highlighter it's really pretty we'll try the powder in a second actually we'll just try it out wow that's actually gorgeous i love that now for the exciting part mascara and i also have a new mascara to try because i recently just tried this because i needed a new mascara and i hated it so this is the panorama i just wasn't a big fan my favorite favorite mascara and it's like drying out so i had to get a new like new mascara is the max stack if this doesn't work out i will be repurchasing this because nothing i have used has ever come close to how good this mascara is i have bought three of these mascaras like please please go try it because it has made my like lashes look so full so voluminous nothing will compare to this mascara this new mascara which is the fenty beauty one has a lot to compete with so 
so I'm gonna curl my lashes. The Shiseido curler, by the way. Okay, wow. I'm not even done with this first coat. That is beautiful. This is one coat. Okay. Um, this does look good. It's definitely up there. I wouldn't say I like it better than that because I can't. Okay, I'm doing the bottom lashes. But first, whenever I do a full glam, I have to do black waterline. It's just like necessary. Look how much that just made my pop. Like, eyes pop. This is what <clears throat> my lashes and eyes look, and I love them. They look so good. Definitely love the mascara. We'll see how it lasts. But next up, lips. Lips, lips. I have lip balm on. I'm just going to wipe the lip balm. Perfect. Recently, I've been loving very neutral lip look. Start with the Fenty lip liner. Trust the process. Started with this one and it's the shade Rubber Rose. And I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. Okay, I don't want this one. I want the darker brown. And I don't like fully, like, sorry my video cut off, but as I was saying, I don't like fully overline, but if you do, it like overline with the darker lip liner that you're using. This is Nobby and Espresso, I literally got it on Amazon, and it's so good. I love it. Now that your lips look like this, you're gonna go in with like a nude or like a slightly nudish pink lipstick. And I'm using this Tarte Maracuja lipstick in Rose. Go in the middle. Like that. Now we use a gloss gloss. I use two. First, I'm gonna use like a this gloss. And this is this gloss is NYX in Butterscotch. And I know I have big lips, but I love a good plumping gloss, and so I'm going to use this <clears throat> Patrick Ta one in two cc's. I know I just use like five different lip products, but look at the end result, and I love it. I think it looks so good, and now we're just going to finish it off, and I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Okay, and this is my updated Full Glam Makeup. This might be different than what you consider full glam, words, this might be different than what you consider full glam, but this is what I consider full glam, and I think it looks so good. Sometimes I would do eyeshadow, sometimes I don't, most of the times I don't, so this is why I showed you a no eyeshadow look, but if you want a natural eyeshadow look to do on a daily basis or something, let me know and I'll make a video, and yeah. I hope you guys liked the video, I hope it was helpful, I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.